Nearly 20 years later, a high profile child abuse case is back in the headlines. On Monday, Ray Dawn Smith will ask the pardon and parole board to commute her sentence. She's the mother of two year old Kelsey Briggs, who was beaten and killed. I spoke with those who want Kelsey's mother to stay behind bars, as well as advocates for her release. In 2005, Ray Dawn Smith came home to find an ambulance in her driveway. Her two-year-old daughter, Kelsey Briggs, was dead. Her new husband, Michael Porter, was charged with first-degree murder and sexual assault for the fatal beating. But in exchange for his testimony against Smith, took a plea deal for a lesser charge, enabling child abuse. He was convicted and sentenced to 30 years. Smith got 27 for the same charge. She has to do about 25 and some change. He'll have to do about 27. Excessive sentencing is why Morgan Hale of Project Commutation and Smith's attorney says Smith deserves commutation. Michael Porter also got placed in protective custody, meaning he is unsearchable. It is unclear whether he's in an Oklahoma prison or prison at all. DOC hides him because it was a child crime and that's very dangerous to have um, known while you're in the Department of Corrections. And so they protected him whereas they didn't offer the same to Radon. But for family members fighting for Kelsey's justice, like Royce Briggs, her grandfather, prison is where Smith should stay. It doesn't seem like there's any way that 27 years is too excessive. Briggs says he watched for months as Kelsey's spirit diminished, bruised and broken boned, and feels both are responsible. I wish she would have at least been a decent mom, and then not even a model mom, if she would have just done the bare necessities to take care of Kelsey, she would still be alive today. Ten months prior to Kelsey's death, DHS was investigating signs of abuse. But because she had been in back and forth care between the grandparents and Smith, I'm told who was responsible was unclear. Ultimately, the judge put Kelsey back in the care of her mom. Hale says her client feels guilty for not knowing Porter abused her child, but she wasn't alone. No adult, no doctor, no caseworker, no one caught on to what Michael Porter was perpetrating. Oklahoma statutes define failing to protect a child as a parent knowing or should have known. Prosecutors believe Smith should have known. Advocates argue she simply did not. The commutation hearing begins on Monday. If approved by the board, the request will be decided by the governor.